The UP is home to several creative artists of all different genres. One local artist uses his gift for what he sometimes does called speed painting. So this morning, Ashley Kirkland shows off more of the art of his work. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. Well, speed painting is a very unique form of painting, and we're going to speak with local artist Dan Cook about how he does it and also the other types of paintings that he has available. Now, Dan is actually one of the only local artists who will be featured this year at Art on the Rocks. That's a couple of weeks away, so it's exciting to see a preview of some of his work and what you can uh, get down at Art on the Rocks this year. Also, Vicki, we've got a surprise that I am so excited about, and I think it's going to knock you guys' socks off, so you have to stay tuned throughout the show to see what it is that he's going to reveal to us. I'll take it back to you, Ashley Kirkland, reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. Okay, I guess we'll just have to be patient. Thanks, <laughs> Ashley. She takes a little bit of time, unless you're a speed painter. Ashley Kirkland is live with Dan Cook. He specializes in doing rapid art. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. Cook says that it probably takes him about 10 minutes or less to finish a speed painting, but his regular art takes about four hours or less. Nonetheless, he has some beautiful art that you can tell he puts great work into. And I'm here with Dan Cook himself right now. Dan, thanks so much for being here this morning. Now, you started painting, uh, you said, at a very young age. What got you started doing it? I, I did. Uh about 17 years old. First of all, welcome to my studio. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> and uh, at 17 years old, I worked for the family business that was a sign painting business. Mm. And back then we had billboards. I learned uh, color mixing, brush control. So that's where I really uh, picked up the, my talent for uh, painting and enjoying painting. Yeah. So. And, and how do you form a technique? What is your technique that you use? Back, back then, you had to paint fast to make any money. <laughs> so I was always painting fast, and today I lean towards very impressionistic uh, works and try and work on the shoreline, mm -hmm. do a lot of shoreline stuff. But I, some people call me very prolific because I paint so many paintings, and uh, I do a, ver a variety of pieces as well. I do some pet portraits. I do people portraits. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of fun uh, yeah. with my painting. So Yeah, and you can tell it comes across in your artwork. I've been gazing at some of it throughout the break. Let's focus on this one in particular. This is a view of the Ordoc, and you have several of them. What You were one of the first painters, you said, that did pictures of the shoreline. Well, I, I think uh, a lot of uh, painters weren't utilizing our beautiful mm -hmm. shoreline, and this is one of my recent pieces that uh, I, I've done. And uh, I was told to design something for over a fireplace, so mm -hmm. that's why it's so wide and narrow. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, what's called a gicle, a digital print of the original. Oh. And uh, that's a good option. It's a little less, it's less money than an original and uh, has the look of an original. Yeah, and the fishermen up here, you would think this is an oil painting, but it's not. It is. It's, uh, it's an acrylic painting, but it has a gloss finish. Mm. Most of my pieces today uh, are uh, matte finish. Mm -hmm. They're not a uh, gloss. People uh, like oils, but today the life of an acrylic painting is very good. And, yeah. You know, it's easy to uh, put them in the sunlight with the clear coat you put on today. And as we look at more pictures uh, near the ore dock, do you find just infinite inspiration from the shoreline and, and the ore dock and the surroundings in the UP? I do. I like to paint uh, boats as well. Uh, and our downtown. I uh, mm -hmm. started painting our downtown area. Yeah. And I'm enjoying that. We live in such a beautiful area. It's uh, easy to find something nice to paint. Yeah. Now you are going to be at Art on the Rocks this year, and that's a juried uh, showcase where people are, you have to enter into it by jury. So how many years have you been doing that? Uh, approximately seven now, and I'm very wow. proud of that fact to get in there with, uh, there's a few local artists that attend, but Art on the Rocks attracts some really good painters, some really good sculptors and potters uh, from across the country, and to attend that is uh, pretty nice for uh, being in the Upper Peninsula, yeah. and it attracts a big crowd. It gets ten to 15,000 people, and, and the profits go to... Uh, local painters in the area. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's a great event. Yeah. It's uh, great for Marquette and it's great for the artists. 
So what can people expect from Dan Cook when they come down to see the art there? A lot of great deals. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. A lot of great deals. I love to paint. So I like to move my paintings along mm -hmm. at a, a good price. And I do paint fast, so I like to pass that along to the customers and so they can enjoy it. Yeah. But I, I've sent paintings all over the country. I've sent paintings to South Florida, Southern California, East Coast. So I, I'm really enjoying uh, painting these days. Hmm. All right, well, thanks, Dan. We're going to talk about those uh, great deals and that rapid painting that he does. We'll see a video of him uh, doing his speed painting. And also, we have our special surprise coming up. I'm not pulling your leg, guys. It really is a treat. You're going to enjoy it. So I'll take it back to you, Vicki. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. UP, and Ashley Kirkland is live with one of those great artists, local speed painter Dan Cook. And Ashley, you got a surprise for us. And just get to it already. <laughs> Oh, Sam, don't you rush me. It's all about patience here, okay? You're right. We've got great local artists here in Marquette, and I'm back here with Dan Cook. Now, Dan, we were just, they just had a guest on talking about our rotary, and you actually do a lot of your paintings for local uh, charities and locals, uh, local events. I, I have. I've, uh, I've been trying to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. I uh, donated a, a large painting to the recent uh, Rotary Fish Boil. I did a large print for the Beacon House, and if you're a nonprofit, and I'd like to help, yeah. so give me a call, and I can give back in that fashion. Yeah, because like you said, you paint, and you like to get rid of your paintings as you <laughs> as you go. I, I like to keep painting. Yes. Yes, you like to keep painting. Now we're gonna we have video of you actually doing your speed painting that you do. Talk to us about that. What is speed painting exactly? Well, it's a typically two colors, a black background and a light colored uh, painting. And I, I have to study for a week or so prior mm -hmm. to that. And I try and quarter the uh, painting in my mind. So I paint each piece, each quarter at a time. And uh, it's 10 minutes or less. And But the demographics are very important as well. Um, you don't want to paint something that isn't applicable to your audience. Mm -hmm. You want to paint something to applicable and people are interested in it and that they will buy it in the end. Yeah. So. And you do this to music so it's more like an event to watch. It is and I built a special easel to do it and uh, it's a lot of fun. I have fun with it. It's the circumstances and the audience has to be right and uh, I've done four or five of them. Yeah and the video that we saw this is actually the painting that you did in that video but you've tweaked it a little bit here and there. Yes yeah. Over time, I've kind of evolved it a little bit. <laughs> it, it didn't go to anyone special. I just did it for fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to get to the big reveal. I know everyone is waiting. You did a special project just out of the kindness of your heart, and you want to reveal what you've painted. How, first of all, how long did it take you to paint this? Well, I got up early this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little nervous about today, and mm -hmm. I got up early this morning, and I... I did a piece that uh, I'm sure will be appreciated by your uh, crew back in the studio. Yeah, let's take it off. Let's reveal our very own Vicky Crystal. Crystal. Isn't that lovely? Now, what picture did you use to as inspiration for that? I uh, just Google imaged a, a shot of Vicky, and I thought it was appropriate and. Uh, I just wanted to give her a little surprise. Yeah, that is very, it's, it's very detailed and, and it's, it's very accurate. I, I'm blown away right now. And you said you got up this morning and, and did this and finished it? <laughs> yeah, I'm quick. You're, very, very you quick. are quick. Oh, that's awesome. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. I wish we could uh, get her reaction right now, but uh, this is awesome. Tell people where you can be located online. You have a YouTube page. I have a YouTube page. Also, I have a website at dancook.biz, B-I-Z, and I have a, a Facebook page as well, Yeah. Uh, paintings by Dan Cook. Great. And, of course, you'll be at Art on the Rocks. When is that, and where can people find you? 25th and 26th, I'll be at Art on the Rocks. All right. Well, thanks so much, Dan. You're doing Thank great you. work here. Thank you. I appreciate your time. All right. There is our surprise. One more time, let's show the surprise and... Hope you guys waited for that, and I hope it was worth your wait. <laughs> Stick around for more of your TV6 Morning News.